Opinion Glaze tag. Look into Opinion Glaze tag. You know what Shuggle is? You know, you know whose name that is? That is, well, that's for another time. Anyhow, jumping into the game that we have in front of us. His Twitch. best friend. That's, yeah, that's his best friend. Uh, we have it's an anime girl, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I, I would be shocked if Utopian Ray ever had a non-anime girl tag. Yes. Um, regardless, both of these players are just like dancing around each other's hitboxes. But Ray finally able to catch one of French's jumps. French Ooh. loves landing with Nail. That's the stock. <gasps> oh, he's so cute! Okay, okay. I love that option. I love jump down airs because if you don't get the footstool, you might be able to get the down air if they. It's, it's an high. option select. Yes, it's so what. You wait. That was that was spicy. That was a spicy meatball, buddy. That, yeah. <laughs> I mean, French tutor, you gotta feel kind of bad. It felt like they were dancing around each other, but really all it was was Utopian Ray just ready to pounce. You saw that one opening went for like triple neutral air into a monster stock. But as a, even though that happened, French Tutor doing a really good job of evening it up pretty much uncontested. He only took 1%. I don't even know what he got the 1% from. Yeah, neither do I. Um, could have been a grab exchange. But, wow, French just brought it all the way back from that amazing first stock. Both of these players are just, like, taking turns, like, absolutely, like, going in on one another. French's ledge trapping and coin pressure is some of the best in the city. He's doing an amazing job right now. He actually hits her before the teleport can come out. I want to point out that Utopian Ray won has won neutral once so far. He got a stock off of it, but since then, he hasn't gotten anything done, really. And French is like especially known for his like really strong game ones. For whatever reason, every single game one, he like does so incredibly well against his opponent. But just like that, Ray at one percent as well, like really, really like punishing a French's disadvantage. Link, you know, when you palatine it, you have all these super, super active disjoints, um, and you're being like juggled. Like, man, it is so difficult to land. Oh, yeah, he went for that. I guess he was expecting Utopian Ray to hang around near the uh, the stage, but he goes up to meet him. And just like that, despite the fact that French Tutor was the one who had this huge lead, they are neck and neck, both on their last stock. Pretty much no damage to their name. Oh, yeah. this could be huge. So much damage, 51%, and all the stage control he could possibly ask for. That's it, that is the stock. That's it, there's nothing he could do. He doesn't have the bomb, so he can't do the bomb jump. Yep. That was so scary. Gray saw the bomb bouncing on a platform and he was like, all right, gamers, it's go time. And like, he just had all of the opportunity in the world to go in. How did we even commentate that? So they just like literally took turns bodying each other's stocks. Oh man. Yeah, I think that that's, <laughs> I think that's honestly indicative of how the whole set's gonna go. Yeah. Uh, I can't imagine that we would have a, like a more drawn out sort of a, I mean we might. It, I think French Tutor would really have to change up his play style in a way that I don't think would actually be better for him. I think that that's honestly the game plan he had before is the game plan he can stick to again. Just get your one hit and then do all this crazy damage because that's what your opponent is all about. Look at that, forty nine percent off the single hit. So the single hit was Ray calling out maybe. He's I think French was a little bit greedy there in the very beginning. You saw him jump to center stage and grab the bomb at the same time. That is a very, very risky move. Grabbing bomb is a little bit laggy. You know, like normally you'd see Lynx back off and try to do it. They'd give up stage control to do that. I mean, French really wanted it all. So, like, honestly, Gray did a great job of calling out that aggression. French, the eyeing that, ugh. Okay, he, good job. He got hit by that weird part of the explosive flame, but he was ready to counterattack before Utopian Ray could actually combo off of it. And now he is the one with stage control, but only for an instant. So I love the patience from French when he was like doing the tech chase. Like, uh, not the tech chase, like he was really anticipating Ray to either whiff a move or try to dash back, but that entire sequence was not. He almost died to his own bomb. All right, I like that, taking a bit of a moment just to, you know, recollect himself, figure out why that first stock went so poorly for him. Yeah. And because it wasn't exactly like the last time, you know? It wasn't just some crazy combo. That was more of, uh, like, a, an effective dismantling of what he wanted to do. And that was such a good bait for Crunch. Like, you saw him dash towards a bomb, but then, like, immediately smack Ray in the face with an aerial. Like, Ray was fully expecting him to go run back and grab his projectile. Yeah. 
I love the patience from Lake here. Like, knowing not to contest any of Link's massive and scaly hitboxes. Wow, see, guys at the bottom didn't come out of time. Oh, I guess he was expecting an air dodge directionally down and away. Yeah. That was, it was actually lucky for a French tutor that uh, Ray caught the bomb right there. He wasn't able to get a much better follow-up. And I love that. Oh, my. Just he stays there, knows that Utopian Ray is not going to go for some aggressive option, and then he just waits it out. That's huge for him. He and sat getting that in front stop. of the shield. That was so scary. Like, that was... He was, like, waiting for him to roll or something and then just, like, catch out with Uffy, waiting for him to drop his shield so he could do forward air. That was such a scary place for him to be. It was. I mean, it's a little bit safer because Kylie was facing away from him. <gasps> oh! So, when French is seeing Grey charge up smash, that is, like, a big indicator of, like, okay, stop going through Bomb Recovery, just up B to stage. I... Yes, but at the same time, uh, a lot of the bomb recoveries he's been doing have managed to get over it. Because although Up Smash has huge range, it's not infinite. And a lot of the time, actually, the bomb recovery has been able to go past it. And uh, right now for French Tutor, game one was looking so strong for him. And now he's sitting at 88% on his last stock. And he still has two pretty healthy stocks from Utopian Ray to actually take down. Oh, that should be it. Oh, oh, a bit of a flub there. Maybe he was wanted to charge forward smash, but... He was expecting it. a tech, and that's why he, like, preemptively did the F-tilt. Gray has been doing a... Not Wait, much can else we talk about there. Palu's face during that? That was like... I, I saw that. That was the same that as was, my uh, face. That, that was, was really speaking. weird. Like... She was all... Look at her. He's just like charging all those smash attacks. All right. Yeah. She's just boy. <laughs> she's she's like boy. boy. Dan, Dan. But here's the thing. She didn't even put any like emotion into that. She was just like completely deadpan while doing it with like a slight smile on her face. Boy. Because if you, if you look at the very very final second of it. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Deadpan. <laughs> menacing. Literally <laughs> cold in cold blood. Okay, let's let's be real here though. Does Palutena ever show emotion in her animation? Well, well in, when she's animated, haha, that's funny. Like whenever we get like the anime Palutena, you gamers know the one. No, that's not what I'm like she's like, about. oh, no. oh, it is what we're talking about. 